What's going on guys? Car Review Guys here. My name is AJ and we are with the 2023 Lexus LC 500. That's right, let's jump right into this full review, start with the exterior, roll into the interior. Obviously we need to start up in there too and then let's get it on the road and I'm gonna try to get you guys out of the wind. I have an extra all the fancy stuff. It's still like 30 mile an hour wind. It's not my fault, I apologize, let's roll. Starting right up front, you have LED headlamps with the runner, looks super sharp. You've got the nice mesh sporty looking grille. You have some venting down here on the right hand side and left hand side. You've got these beautiful looking wheels which have been on the LC500 for uh, quite a while. They're 245, 4021s. And like I said, I think they look really good overall. Your mirrors do have blind spot monitoring. Hopefully you can see in there. These door handles are definitely kind of unique. You basically just push here, it pops out, and then you can just grab it. Easy uh, to control there. You've got a vent right here on the driver and passenger side. Moving our way back from the door handle, you have a driver side fill for your gas, 21.7 gallon tank. You're getting 16 city, 25 highway in this V8, paired with a 10 speed transmission. And up front, I guess while we're on this for the stats and figures, it is a V8, as already mentioned, 471 horsepower and is a five liter naturally aspirated. Coming around to the rears, obviously same setup, but they are a little bit wider. They are a 275 in width out back, which keeps this thing planted pretty well. Hardly any issues with traction for the most part, even on some cooler uh, days. Now, right here in the rear, in order to pop the trunk, you'll notice it's right there. I didn't notice that for actually quite a while. I always expect it to kind of be underneath there. It's not there. You just, you know, press that. And jumping inside the trunk really quickly, there's a decent amount of space, but again, it, it's pretty narrow, if that makes sense. So you can see my arm there. It's, I don't know, 10 inches maybe in depth total. But there's a good bit of space, not bad. If you guys wanna see if a golf bag will fit, I will test it. It's gonna be on a short, so be sure to subscribe if you want to see that. To close it, you have a little handle right up here. This is active arrow. You can also press the button on the inside. You can just pop it up for a little uh, cool effect. Down low in the rear, you've got the dual exhaust, which look pretty good as well. And the taillights on this thing, I mean, how cool are those? I know it's been the same design since really 2018, but it doesn't get old. It looks killer. Now, here's something I bet a lot of you did not know unless you've specifically only been looking for this car, but there's an optional carbon fiber roof. I mean, man, does that look absolutely good. Really helps the exterior of this vehicle. All right, while we're back here, let's get a few revs and uh, see what this V8's all about. Tell you what for a lexus that sounds incredible really for any car but especially lexus no one expects that i can tell you <laughs> Alrighty, let's step into the inside let's see you guys know is it easy to get in of this vehicle or not let's test it before i jump in i will point out you have some carbon fiber door sills here that say lexus it looks absolutely incredible so the reason i'm pointing that out is be careful not to scuff your foot down there. Uh, not something you want to scuff, in my opinion. All right. I mean, so the bolsters on the seat are pretty aggressive, but other than the bolsters, like as far as like height and stuff, it's actually pretty easy to get in. Uh, so if you're maybe be maybe bb i don't I, am i just gonna repeat myself what was that 
anyway, maybe if you're a little bit older and considering this car, I think it's pretty doable. Um, I've owned other sports cars. I personally own an NSX right now. Some other sports cars aren't that easy to get into. And I think this definitely fits in that segment of being able to get in and out. And it's not too low for the front splitter to use it practically. Um, some other cars are so low to the ground, it is very hard to use. Now that we are in the 2023 LC500, let's go over some of the interior uh, items. The next video on this vehicle is going to be five things that I love and five things to improve. And you guys will pick up on some of those throughout this video. But if you want the, you know, short, sweet, down and dirty, whatever, that's going to be the next video on this. Uh, we'll also have some shorts going up uh, in the meantime as well. Now, starting over on this left hand side, you will see that you will have your memory seating and there is enough for three people, which is pretty nice. Your window switches, all the standard stuff, mirror, all that. Up here is your heads up display button. You can press that and it will turn your heads up display on or off. You'll see it off, now it's on. It's flickering just because of the frame rate and everything I have the camera at. Moving to the steering wheel, let me straighten it out. I had it turned for some pictures for you guys. Left hand side, um, again, steering wheel is pretty standard for Lexus. It's nothing very different. I mean, you've got your media items and over here's your cruise control stuff for the most part. The one thing on this vehicle in the sports car segment that it has that I don't know of any other competitor having Adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist. I have not seen that on any other sports car, period. So that is huge for this car. Now, some people may not really care, but others may, and it is so nice when you're taking this thing on a road trip. You'll notice back here, there's pretty good size paddles. They are a aluminum type of material. They feel pretty durable. Up in the front, you will see the instrument cluster, pretty standard for Lexus. I mean, if you guys have <clears throat> seen several other Lexuses, that may look very familiar to you because that's pretty standard. Over on the left, you do have traction control, also down for a snow option. That would be pretty interesting to see how well that works. On the right hand side, you have your different modes you have Eco slash Comfort, Normal and Sport and Sport Plus. You will see in the middle, you'll see it change if I go through them. Pretty cool, looks pretty aggressive in Sport Plus right there. But honestly, I drive it in like Normal or Eco most of the time, but you can definitely tell a difference. We'll talk about that on the drive. Over on the right, you'll see a nice size screen right there. There, it's it's glass though, it's not touchscreen. You can't physically like get to it. I'm not sure if that comes up on camera, but yeah, you can't get to it. It is the old Lexus system using the trackpad. So everything you want to control is done with this pad. I mean, it's pretty old and dated at this point. It keeps it clean, it looks nice. It still works. But there's a few things that I wish, if they're gonna keep the system, they would change. For example, you have dual zone climate back here and you have several buttons to control items back in here for that. But this comes with heated and cooled seats. Well, in order to get to them, you have to use the trackpad. So menu, uh, scroll all the way over to climate. And then, I don't know, can you guys see that? Hopefully you can see it. Sorry about that, the lighting is uh, strange today. So then you can scroll over to the left and you go to seat, and now you can get to your heated and cooled seat. Scroll back over and now you have to control it from there. So it, it just takes a while. Like I wish there were certain buttons, like for heated and cooled seats, I would love to see an extra couple buttons somewhere just to press them very quickly. But nonetheless, it has the features, which is amazing. It just, I don't hate the system. I just wish that, again, a few more buttons would work great. This shift knob right here uh, has been in the LC since the beginning. Pretty standard for those of you that are not familiar. You literally just push it over and then whichever way you wanna go. So reverse is that way, which brings up the camera. You'll notice, uh, pretty standard camera there. 
and if you want to go into drive over and down and then if you would like to go to park you just press the p that's pretty straightforward nothing too crazy there coming back just a little bit you'll notice you have a little space right here i actually find myself putting my phone there a good bit there's a little lever right here on the left hand side you press that and you can get into the center console with a few different plugs in there as well the one thing i want to point out is just how elegant this car is like honestly I know there's some outdated tech in this thing, but just, just look at it. I mean, you have two back seats back there, uh, only good for children. Uh, not gonna go into detail much more than that because it's all they're good for, but look at that. Like just the Alcantara with the leather, everything is just soft touch. It doesn't matter really where you go. I mean, the steering wheel's nice. You have different design patterns on it. You have different stitching. The Alcantara even has the lines in it. I mean, just, and these doors are heavy. And on the doors, you have some forged carbon fiber. Check this out. I'll show you guys right here. Hopefully it shows up on camera for you guys. Even the bolts say Lexus. Like, some people give this car a bad rap, to be honest. But in my opinion, the interior is just so nice. Even the exterior, again, the fit, the finish, it's just pretty. It's elegant, it's easy to get in and out of for a sports car. And the front lip, it's usable. You don't have to worry about, oh, can I even get in there? Because the, it's just practical. It's comfortable and uh, yeah, we will, take it out on a drive so I can explain more of that right now. But before we do, I gotta show you guys the cinematic. In three, two, one, roll it. quickly before we get out onto the road looking at the window sticker right here let's talk over just a few things again this is a naturally aspirated 5 liter v8 pushing around 471 horsepower and you're getting it a 0 to 60 of around 4.4 seconds it sounds really good as well just saying uh, again, has a 21.7 gallon tank, 25 highway, 16 city, with a combined average of around 19 miles to the gallon. Pretty good for a naturally aspirated V8, paired with a 10 speed transmission. It's a direct shift transmission, just to make sure you guys know, not DCT. Uh, this vehicle comes in standard at around $93,450. This particular one has heads-up display, which is a $900 option, has upgraded Mark Levinson 13 surround sound speakers. It sounds really good. I would highly recommend that. I always recommend heads-up display as well. Just saying, I love heads-up display. Um, and this has a premium paint, which is cadmium orange, and it has a ton of flake in it. Uh, you guys probably just saw that in the cinematic. It looks amazing. Last but not least, this has the dynamic handling package with the 21 inch alloy wheels. So with that, you get, and I'm just gonna read this per thing because otherwise we'll be here all day. Uh, it has 
the Torsen Limited Slip Differential, active rear steering. That actually, we'll talk about that during the drive. I can certainly notice that, especially in tight corners. That is amazing. Uh, speed activated rear wing. We already mentioned that from the exterior. Uh, Alcantara sport seats, uh, intuitive parking assist, carbon fiber roof, Alcantara headliner. I don't think I talked about that, but yeah, the whole headliner's Alcantara. Again, just adds to how elegant the interior is. Um, and carbon fiber door scuff plate, which we've already gone over as well and looks incredible. All right, and that's pretty much all the stats figures. That's your window sticker for you. Uh, let's drive. Let's just start right out the gate and let's, cause you guys all wanna know for driving, does it have enough acceleration? Well, let's find out. Let's go. I mean, I don't know if you guys can hear that. I'm hoping you can, cause it sounds good. While this may not be a DCT transmission, it is certainly, certainly good. Do it again, let's do it again. That's just rolling into it. That is not just to the floor, it's just rolling. Plenty of power for this car. I, and, and it's nice because it's not too much. Remember, this is rear wheel drive. So having rear wheel drive you don't want too much. When you get too much, like for instance, my C7 Z06 that I had, it's, it's just spin city, that's all you do. It has to be perfect temperatures, perfect weather, perfect everything, and then maybe you get traction and you can actually use the potential of the car. This, you can actually pretty much just use it however you want it. Uh, it doesn't get crazy, which is nice. I haven't taken traction control off. It's, again, it's a press car, it's not my car. I'm not gonna do that. Let's go on the main road we're straight it's plenty it's plenty man that's so fun and it sounds good too and, the, and it rides like a lexus so let's talk about the comfort now soon as i got in this thing it was lexus and for those of you that have watched my reviews lexus to me is a pretty high benchmark for ride quality in my humble opinion i've been in a lot of vehicles and Lexus tends to be my favorite 95% of the time. Honest to goodness. The only reason this LC500, I have not looked at it for myself personally in my collection, is because it's rear wheel drive only. And after driving it, I honestly don't mind it because again, it's not too crazy. It, it, just, it does have traction. Um, so it may actually be something I consider down the road for like a daily driver because it is so comfortable. The seats are just perfect. I will say these seats may be a little snug if you're a bigger person. If you're a bigger person, these seats are gonna be a little bit snug. There's no two ways about it because of the bolstering. However, okay. The majority of people are gonna fit just fine, even if you're a little bit older, maybe a little bit overweight, you know, some years on you, that's okay. I think you'll be fine. And it's really, again, the seats are comfortable overall. The bolsters are the only downside potentially for anybody. For me, I think they're great because I've sat in some very uncomfortable seats. While we're on the topic of comfort, like, the suspension on this is just comfortable. While it's sporty, it's still plenty nimble. Like if I wanna shake it left, shake it right, shake it left, it, the lane's beeping at me because I literally got near the lane, but it's it's nimble. I The way that they've balanced this car is just good. It's just good. I mean, they hit it perfect because again, this is a sports car but it's also made to be elegant and it's made to be comfortable. That is what this car is and they've done it. So I don't have any real complaints. I've seen some other reviews that, I don't know, I don't agree. I think they don't understand what this car is. That's just me personally. Um, I know that it is a six figure car um, or if you go more base, base model on an LC500, um, you know, high 90s, mid 90s, somewhere in there. But overall, I think they, this car is exactly what it should be. I really do. All right, let's take this turn. I, that was 
way too slow. That was way too. I took I took that turn at like 25 miles an hour. I didn't even challenge the car. <laughs> I didn't challenge it. I didn't accelerate through it at all. Um, that was just foot off the gas, just coasting. But yeah, that was no challenge. That was my bad. I'll, I'll do better up here, maybe, maybe. So as already mentioned in the interior, the one thing I think this has ahead of almost anything in this class that I have seen, and it may sound small to some, and some are like, well, that's stupid. I hate that feature anyway. Well, you know what? Have a nice day. I don't know what to tell you. It has adaptive cruise control and it has lane keep assist. I do not know of any other vehicle in this class segment that has those two items. I don't know of one. If you guys do, comment below, because I'm actually interested. I mean, all I do is live, eat, breathe, and everything car related. And I don't know of any other sports car that has those two items. So comment below. And it's just, it's so nice on a road trip. I, I absolutely am a huge fan of having that. And it's just a safety feature, right? Like lane keep assist, like you shouldn't depend on it. But like when you're on a road trip, you try to get a drink of water, right? Like having the backup to not like some people are driving with their knee or their leg, just to be able to stay safely in your lane and not endanger others. I think it's a great feature. I genuinely do. We're going left. I'm not gonna floor this, but let's just see if we give it like adequate. Okay. So just adequate, the back end will try to kick out just a little bit, but not like insane. And track control kicked in almost immediately and just straightened it right out. So not bad. Definitely a good traction control system in this thing. As we continually drive along here, probably the only downside to this vehicle the only thing that honestly that stands out to me the blind spots are definitely there there's blind spots on this vehicle so you have to get used to that keep in mind that's the only thing that's not easy to drive about this car but it has blind spot monitoring so keep that in mind uh, as you go along just be careful make sure you're watching your mirrors for cars whatever um, but yeah that's the only really downside is how this drive otherwise yeah, it's great. The way this thing drives, okay, I'm, I'm gonna do this in a very quick summary for you guys, and this is the best I can describe it, coming from a supercar owner, and I've owned so many different sports cars in my short lifespan so far because I just love cars. This is the car for you if you want something elegant. Elegant, are we starting a new word? Elegant. We're elegant, okay? <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta laugh at yourself, you know? Elegant, um, and you're gonna get a car that's still Lexus comfortable. And you've got everything else that a Camaro or a Mustang has. I'm just telling, that is the reality of what this car is. And it draws so much attention it's ridiculous how much attention this car draws. Now that's the only downside, kind of. If you want a car that doesn't draw attention, I might not pick this because it does draw attention. Now it doesn't draw maybe as much attention as like, let's say something in the two, $300,000 range without naming other manufacturers. But again, this car's so well balanced. Like here, let's floor. I, what, what more can you ask for? A Lexus that has that kind of power that's so elegant and so nice. They hit it on the head. They hit it on the head. That's all I can say. I think this car is perfect. The last point I'm going to make on this car, it holds value. Now, some of you guys are going to go on Car Gurus, whatever website you want, and you're going to look and you go, holy cow, 65,000 miles, and they're only going for, you know, 70,000. Okay, brand new, let's say that's a 2018, five years old, 70,000. Let's say they paid 100,000. Look at any other luxury brand that are high end. Look at the depreciation in comparison percentage wise. Go ahead, you can look it up. This thing holds value 
overall for what this vehicle is and again that's at like 70,000 mile mark you look at these things a 2018 with like 15 20,000 miles which is probably what the average owner has on it they're still 85 90 grand so you own a car for five years still drive it when you want to to car shows whatever and you're only going to take a ten thousand dollar loss that's that's good that is really good all right guys i think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video the next video is gonna be five things that i love five things to improve but just like that we're gonna go ahead and wrap this one up and as always i'll catch you guys on the next one please like please subscribe peace